I just had a conversation with a medium-sized uh, company, the CEO of a company, who's gone through six bookkeeping accounting services in the past six years. And, you know, even though that sounds unusual, you'd be surprised how many times I hear that. If we believe in interviewing employees and making sure we get the best employees and training them and giving the best tools and so on, why don't we believe in getting, you know, the proper accounting staff or bookkeepers or, or CPAs or even tax advisors, tax advisor lawyers? I see that whole industry getting off with, you know, with a pass. The, the service that I see some of these uh, companies getting is really atrocious. And obviously, I mean, a couple of days ago, I spoke with another company who got, had gone through seven bookkeeping services in six, five or six years. So obviously we are not asking the right questions. One of the questions that I would ask is, what kind of reports are you gonna to deliver to me on a daily or weekly basis? Am I gonna get cash flow projections? What about the uh, profit and loss? What about comparing my, my budgeted to actual on job sites? How often do I get those reports? Are you going to teach me how to read these reports? Are you going to teach me how to use this financial data as a steering wheel for my business? Because if, if I'm not using this financial data to, to steer the bus that I'm driving, then I'm making emotional decisions instead of business decisions. I, I hope that makes sense. And the same, the same client who went through uh, all these bookkeeping services um, had just purchased a major company. And if I mentioned the name, you would recognize the name, chances are. Then, you know, I asked the question, how did you purchase this company from going bankrupt? You know, what about the previous debt? What about dormant debt? You know, what about all these different things? Even if you had um, a way to bypass the, the debt that was dormant, because let's say that you have an invoice, this company owes you, and, you know, you've been trying for six months or a year or even two years to try and get this these invoices paid and just they just keep saying we're going bankrupt can't pay you and 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 so on then all of a sudden you hear this company has a new owner wouldn't you try to reactivate to collect those invoices uh, and even if you can't legally what if you put pressure on them on social media right so there's all these things that can happen and it doesn't sound like he even thought about some of these things. It doesn't sound like he even had a proper advisor. It doesn't sound like he even had a, a proper appraisal of the company. He just figured, okay, it's worth this much. You know, the credibility, the name is worth this much. But did he compare it to, okay, if I start a new company from scratch, am I gonna pay as much as I'm paying for this company? And how much is that credibility worth? How much is that brand worth? Is that brand soiled? Or is that, you know, how much research was done in terms of how good the reputation of the company is? Because when the company goes bankrupt or is in the process of going bankrupt, you know, there's a lot of damage that could be done to that brand name and how much research was done, right? So, we're a little off topic. We're talking about bookkeeping, uh, bookkeepers and accountant services. And the other question that I have to ask is all the companies that have bookkeepers or accountants or even tax advisors on staff that you're paying salaries for, how do you know you're getting the maximum return on that investment, right? Because if you're not getting daily reports or weekly reports from these people and you're paying huge salaries, I imagine, how do you know that you couldn't get better service by outsourcing that, um, that department? Because in most cases, that, that's what we recommend. Because when you outsource to a company who does this, they only do that. 
When I go into a company where they have bookkeepers and accountants on staff, they're answering the phone, they're, they're sending out invoices, they're, they're you know, helping out with, in the back, they're doing all other things as, except the bookkeeping and accounting services they were hired to do. I mean, it's crazy some of the things that we see when we analyze businesses. So here's a question for you. Are you getting the best return on your investment in your bookkeeper or accounting services? If you're not, then start asking the right questions. Like, how are you going to help me? One of the jokes in the management consulting industry is if you want the company to fail, put a bookkeeper and accountant at the head of that company. And you're depending on advice from these people. And yet generally they have horrible services. They have horrible businesses. The failure rate in bookkeeping and accounting services are horrible. The growth rate in most of these companies are stagnant. But these are the people you're looking to, looking at for advice to help you get your company to the next level. So please think about who is advising you. Each time that we ask on LinkedIn, you probably heard some of my assistants or some of my clients asking, you know, who do you have advising you? And a lot of times, well, I have a great bookkeeper, I have an accountant, I have a tax advisor. But if you don't have, you know, you know, three, four holding companies in, in, your, in your business, you're paying the highest taxes possible, right? So there's lots of people on LinkedIn that can help you lots of people. There's no reason why you're not getting great advice from your bookkeeper or accountant or your tax advisor. Okay. I mean, that's a service that you're paying for. Um, and if you've gone through a few bookkeepers in, in the past, then you are the one that I'm talking to. You're not asking the right questions. So I would love to hear your questions, comments below. We would love to help you. Talk to you soon. Take care.